Hey, what is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I've got the Royal Brave here, and what we're going to be doing today is comparing it to some other very popular Latitude 64 and Trilogy fairway drivers. The Royal Brave is definitely more on the straight to understable side, and it's gonna be a disc that Latitude 64 describes as a disc with a similar feel to the Explorer, but with a more understable flight. And I don't know about you guys, but this Explorer here, it was always reliably stable, but it wasn't that like dead straight flight that the pros get out of it. Um, for me, it was something that flies more like a T-bird, straight early in the flight, and then has a nice fade at the end. So when you want that more typical dead straight flight, the Brave is gonna be a much better option for most players, especially amateur players and players with slower arm speeds. So we're going to be comparing the new Brave to the Jesper Lundmark Striker. I've got an old Escape. This Escape, I remember, was actually a lot more stable than like a Supreme Escape. This one was a lot more beefy. I've got a Criminal here. I've got a Maverick, which a lot of people were curious about the flight comparison between the Brave and the Maverick. And then obviously I've got the Explorer. And I guess before I throw everything, I'll show you guys the two profiles. So I've got an Explorer here and I've got the Brave here. And you can see the Brave definitely carries a much lower parting line. It's a little bit more shouldery and a little bit more blunt. So I would actually expect based on these profiles, um, you know, if you don't factor in the glide, the Explorer should in theory fly slightly faster because it's not as blunt on the rim. But anyway, let's give everything a throw. We'll throw everything on hyzer and then we'll throw everything flat and we'll see what kind of flights we get out of it. Let's start with the Brave and then we'll do the Explore, and then we'll do all those other discs. I'll try and release everything on Heiser. So you can see on a Heiser, wants to flip, go super straight, and then have a nice little fade at the end. Basically expecting all of these other discs to pretty much just stay on Heiser and not even get that much flip up. So the Explore, I feel like I got a bit better pull on it. Flew pretty similar, but didn't pick quite up as straight as the Brave did. Now we've got the Striker. I expect the Striker on all angles will fly slightly farther because it is a little bit faster. So far, they're all flying slightly similar. The Brave just got a little bit more flip up. We've got a fairly domey escape here. And that escape was always on the more stable side, so that doesn't surprise me at all. Then we've got the criminal. Again, another one I think that'll just stay on Heiser. Yep. Nice big skip at the end. That one's definitely a bit more stable than the rest. And then a lot of you guys actually requested in the unboxing to compare it to the Maverick. So I've got a Maverick here. This is a disc that traditionally for me, I can put on hyzer out to the left and it'll pretty much turn from left to right most of the way through the flight. So we'll put it out on hyzer and see what kind of flight we get. The Maverick definitely being the most flippy out of all of those discs. My thing for the sake of giving you guys a useful video, I'm gonna focus on the Explorer, the Maverick, and the Brave, just so you guys can compare the discs that are the most similar. All right, so as I said before, the focus will be the Maverick, the Explorer, and the Brave. We'll throw the other discs too, but more just for funsies. These are kind of the most important discs. So again, the Brave side profile. It's not like the perfect shape to be that nice, comfortable, glidey fairway. The Maverick definitely flew quite a bit more understable. I guess we can compare the two, the Brave versus the Maverick. Now we've got the Explorer here, also flipping up a little bit, which is new for me to be able to flip up and explore. So let's go Brave, Explorer, and then Maverick and then funsies. Just love the turn. 
I've been really enjoying my Prodigy F5 a lot that I used to throw back in the day. But the problem with that disc is that's from like 2018 or 2019. And now that Prodigy discs are manufactured in China, they're just not the same. Now let's go explore, throw it nice and hard. So flipping up a little bit, but I feel like you could clearly see not as much as the Brave. And then we've got the Maverick here, which was the flippiest of the bunch in the last round. And again, I think you've got a really great one, two, three punch with the Explorer being the most stable, the Brave being the most straight, and the Maverick being the most understable. So I think between those three discs, you can pretty much carve up any fairway at almost any course. All right, we'll throw a striker and then we'll go grab everything and throw it back a couple more times. So we've got the Explorer here, about 10 feet farther is the Brave. And then again, 10 feet shorter of the Brave is the uh, Maverick just there. But shout out to Jesper Lundmark and the Striker. If you're a Latitude fan and you don't throw a Striker, what are you doing? All right, let's throw these all in a little bit more optimized distance line here. And we'll go Brave, Explore, Maverick. Let's try and give them a little bit more juice. So that was thrown significantly harder than the first few throws. And it's actually about 400 feet if I can get from, I'm parallel to the golf flag through from probably a bit in front of it. But I got all the way to that green up there, which is for me kind of an absolute crush. So kind of lets you know exactly how far that bad boy goes. Now we've got the Explorer, a little more stable. You can see it's not gonna go as far because it's not gonna get that same level of flip up and turn. It just doesn't have that same level of glide. And now we've got Maverick, big turn. <laughs> but that is such a fun one, two, three punch. And I can't really think of three fairway drivers that complement each other that well. I could go out and play any course pretty well with those three discs. Look at the flight. The thing absolutely goes. Like that is glide. That's how you take a seven speed and make it the glidiest thing ever. And you can see the Explorer is pretty good, but the Brave is just better, at least for me. And then we've got the Flipper Boy, the Maverick. <laughs> Over, overcorrected for the turn a bit much there. Well, all right guys, I hope that gave you some insight as to what you can expect from the Royal Brave from Latitude 64. I think they absolutely nailed it. It feels very similar to the Explorer. Um, I like the Royal plastic a bit better than this bursty, plastic that I've got this guy in but yeah overall this is an absolute winner can't wait to use it out on the course I imagine I'm going to be able to just carve up all these wooded fairways here in Charlotte with this disc and the, somehow the weather's still beautiful out it's December 15th and somehow we're still in t-shirt weather so I'm feeling pretty grateful right now and I also feel grateful that you guys still continue to watch the channel so yeah anyway I'll see you guys in the next video go check out the brave from latitude 64 absolute monster of a fairway driver. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.